that is an adult squash vine borer. I don't know if it is a male or a female, but this is a pumpkin plant that is growing in my compost. It looks like it's a female, and it looks like she's actually <laughs> depositing eggs right there on the stem. Let's see if I can get a little closer without scaring her off. It's always tricky to catch these insects doing their thing. All right, I did scare her off, but let's see if there's an egg where she was. Let's see. Well, there is. There's an egg. It's probably not totally in focus, but it's right there. Right. So yet another plant for me to pick eggs off of by hand. Um, I ordered squash vine borer traps from a company. I did not want to go with Amazon. Um, I do use Amazon quite a bit, but something told me that day to just, just buy from a, a company that just does organic pest control and fertilizers. And so I did, and here we are two weeks later, and I still don't have my squash vine borer traps. People, this is why folks choose Amazon. This is what is putting small businesses out of business or businesses in general. If someone can get a product and have it at their home in two days, cheaper and with less cost shipping, the same exact product, it's gonna be real hard for them to continue to pay more for a product with worse service. Now they were very apologetic when I called. They explained that they were out of, um, I guess the pheromone or whatever mix that they add to the traps that they that was on back order. Uh, but it was shipped out on Friday, maybe Thursday of last week. It was the same day I called. And here we are on Wednesday and I still do not have my vine borer traps. And like I said, I'm having to go in and hand pick off the eggs from my pumpkins now and my squash. I know a lot of you are going to say, well, you could use um, BT, Suzanne, the Bacillus thuringiensis. Um, it's, a, it's a byproduct that poisons those type of larvae. That has not worked for me very well in the past on squash vine borer larvae. It works very well in the garden on caterpillars on my tomatoes, um, caterpillars on my cabbages and just general vegetables in the garden. I have not, and she's back again, I've not had good success at all with it killing squash vine borers. Um, what does work that I do not want to use is seven. I don't want to use it. Um, I might have to because at this point for the amount of time that I put in, it's a little bit silly uh, for how much time I put in to get squash, a squash crop with hand picking the eggs off. So hopefully soon my uh, vine borer traps, and I know I just sound, probably sound and look so mean about it, but uh, I was really had really high hopes for those traps and I don't even get to try them yet. It's just a little frustrating. So I think she actually just landed and is laying more eggs. So let's see if we can find her again. Where'd you go? Let me stir this up a little bit. See if she, there she goes. Oh. Oh, come on back. I was just trying to see where you went. All right, she's coming back. She's scared of me. Oh, she's landed on my shoe. I guess she's not scared of me. Let's see if we can catch her laying another egg. Guys, insects are just so neat, even the ones I don't like. I just really enjoy catching them, doing their thing. Um, and you'd be surprised at the things you can see if you take a little bit of time. And look, she is laying an egg. And it's out of focus, I'm sorry. It's hard to get these little details on a camera phone. Okay, I guess she's done in that location. 
let's see if there's an egg. Oh, look, I got lucky. She laid two eggs. That's so wonderful. Not. All right, well, I'm going to let you guys go. Um, hope you have a good day, and uh, I hope you don't have squash vine borers like I do because they're absolutely terrible. And don't forget to have fun. I know I'm going to, picking all these eggs off. See you next time.